Chiquaga mussels are members of the mollusk family. They are not native to the Americas. They were brought in by the late 1980s from uh, Western Europe, Eastern Asia. Uh, once they were brought into the Great Lakes area, they had spread throughout the, the eastern areas uh, through boats and other accidental means of disbursement. By the 90s, they were everywhere, in many places east of the Rocky Mountains, and it was thought that that would keep them back. By 2007, the quagga mussel found its way to California. We here at Lake Mission Viejo were on, on high alert for the eventual uh, movement of this, of this nuisance into the California area anyway. By that time, we were looking to find ways where we could, uh, we could best protect the lake. So once the quagga mussel was discovered in the southwest, Lake Mission Viejo was on, on red alert to find ways that we can best protect this lake. That was the birth of our boat inspection program. The biggest risk of, of contamination into Lake Mission Viejo would be from boats. The boat themselves, the trailers, the motors, anything that might contain water that would come from a, a foreign body of water is where we're concerned. The boat inspection program that we have here is to address those questions. Now the quagga mussel filter feeds plankton out of the water. They can filter out about a liter of water per day. Um, each adult can produce about a million eggs per year. So they can, they can be very prolific. Once they take over, they cover essentially every surface structure in the water itself, be they boat hulls and even the beach sand itself. Now it would be most noticeable in our lake uh, if the beach especially was covered by these shells that once they die, they're like broken glass. So you'd have an obvious problem, a hazard to cut, uh, cut feet. Another problem too, is that when, once they would um, begin to die, they would, they would have a, a, an odor to them. So that would be very foul smelling and, and uh, problematic that way. So um, the ecology would suffer as well because of the fish um, also depended upon the whole food web uh, that begins with plankton would suffer. So small bit fish fry, the, uh, be they the bass, uh, the sunfish and whatnot, depend on, on the plankton to begin the whole food, food web and they would suffer as well. So the risk and the, uh, and the problems that the quagga mussel would pose to Lake, uh, Lake, especially Lake Mission Viejo, would be catastrophic. Now, if Lake Mission Viejo was to become infested with the quagga mussels, it would be impossible to remove them. In places where the quagga mussel has taken over, it's a painstaking, expensive, 24-7 operation just to manage the control of, of the mussels. Um, here at Lake Mission Viejo, we're looking to control uh, and to prevent them from even establishing themselves to begin with. Now, in addition to our boat inspection uh, that we do here to prevent the quagga mussel from entering the lake, we do monitor the water itself for, for the presence of, of the quagga mussels. What we, one of the things we do is we dispatch these uh, sampling substrates in a number of places around the lake and then periodically remove it to look for various growth in the water itself. Additionally, we will send water samples out to Scripps Institute of Oceanography that will test for uh, uh, micro traces of the quagga mussel in the water that would not be detected uh, necessarily visually. So the best thing a lake member can do to protect Lake Mission Viejo from the quagga mussel invasion would be to cooperate with our boat inspection program launching all boats here at the North Beach facility where we can closely look at and inspect the boat itself um, as well as being aware of what this problem actually is. Some people might think that even releasing aquariums into the water, pet fish or whatever, um, is pretty harmless. But in reality, even these things can be releasing other things as well. We have to be very careful about what goes into this lake to protect its environment. 
And with your cooperation in our boat inspection program, we can continue to enjoy exceptional water quality here at Lake Mission Viejo.